Hey, high levelers. In this video, we're going to be talking about a new feature in Go High Level, which is the ability to trigger workflows based on a percentage or video progress of a specific video on a page or um, a funnel. And the reason why you want this is for various reasons. If somebody has landed on your page and has going through a funnel and has watched a certain uh, portion of the video, you want to send them a message or send them a text message. Um, it could also apply in where a person has maybe watched a uh, in a course that you've landed on a page or you put it on a page and they've watched a certain portion and you want them to move forward to the next progression or next step in the course. All right, to go and set this up, let's share my screen and let's get to it. All right, so we are in a step in a funnel. Uh, it's called the Google Goldmine course funnel. And there's a video here. In order to properly uh, track the progress, there are three things that you must set in order to properly track. The first one is you have to make this video uh, is encoded. And so here in this case, um, this video file is called Google My Course Sales. So when you click on the ch this video or you're going into the media fo uh, folder, you want to make sure that this is encoded. So whichever video that you have in the page or website uh, is encoded. If it's not encoded, then it will not work. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you turn off the progress bar. That's the bar at the at the bottom where it uh, shows you uh, the progress of the video. Um, if you have that and the person that's watching it moves the track, move the progress bar to you know rewind it uh, and or move forward, then it's going to affect the tracking. And so you want to make sure you turn that off. And then the next thing is you want to redirect unregistered visitors. So what that means is if somebody happened to land on the page, if you're not registered, then it's going to take them to the original page uh, or the, the, the front of the page or, or the funnel where it captures the name and email and or the phone number if it's set up that way. Um, it, in order to properly track the progress of that video for that specific person, they have to register for that funnel. And so you want to make sure that you turn that on as well. So let me save that. Let's go over to the uh, workflow and I'm going to show you uh, and create a uh, blank workflow. And the trigger name is called video tracking. And so, um, and you want to name it appropriately if you want to call it whatever video will mind video track a video. And then there are three filters that you need to set up. The first one is the funnel. And so, in this case, um, the funnel name is called Google Go Mind. So, in your case, you select whichever funnel that is the video is on. And then the next filter will be which video and so in this case the video is called google my course sales page um, we didn't see the end of it but that is what it's called the last filter is video duration now video duration you have various options equals greater than greater than or equal to less than and so forth is empty is not empty so depending on what how what you are trying to achieve let's just say for example two scenarios if there is a um, a course that you've created and you want to make sure that they've watched in order for them to go to the next course or next course or next page in that course they've watched they must watch that specific uh, maybe 80 90 percent of the video before they go to the next course um, if they didn't watch the full then you want to send them a message by email or text message saying hey gotta watch the rest of it in order to proceed to the next page or if you, if it's a sales page, then if they watch a majority of the video, that means there might their likelihood of being interested in whatever service or product that you're interested in, then that would can trigger a multitude of things. You could trigger a email, text message to go to them and saying, "Hey, would you like to book us book a call?" Or that could trigger an internal notification to one of your salespeople to to call, reach out to them to close a sale, right? Because most likely, depending on you know whether you have a high ticket 
or low ticket item, a, uh, a good protocol will be to reach out and have a conversation to close the sale. All right. So I hope this video um, on this new video tracking uh, is helpful for you. I know it's going to be very beneficial for me as well. And uh, I hope to see you in the next feature update. And until next time, bye now.